Hey guys, what's up? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. So X Defiant just got another patch released literally moments ago as of the time of this recording. And I thought I'd put this video up and just covering the patch notes so that way you guys will know by the time you get home from work or whatever it is, what is going to be implemented because there's some pretty juicy stuff in here for very specific things. So let's get right into it. And of course, as in uh, previous fashion, there won't really be like any screenshots put up or anything like that. Just it's going to be consistent gameplay and then just everything that I'm reading off of you from here, just to make it quick and simple. And then just an FYI, the next video is going to be covering uh, the things that were mentioned in uh, the debrief. And, and a quick thing about the debrief is that I'm actually glad that there's actually one being implemented per month because I was assuming that it was going to be one per season, but this is good. We're going to be getting a new debrief every month. So hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more progress in that aspect so let's uh let's get right into it so first we're going to get into the gameplay it says xp boosters will no longer count down when you're killing time in the practice zone which is obviously a good thing uh and then they also increase the vertical ads sensitivity for controllers so that way aiming up and down is more consistent with aiming left and right thank god because when people were sliding at me it seems like for whatever reason my ads was moving in slow motion and i couldn't you know keep up with them or whatnot regardless so this is something that I'm glad is getting fixed. Thank goodness. Uh, all right, next up, they're talking about game modes. Tweak to the rank mode pregame. Rank matches now won't start with less than eight players. Then leave uh, the leave button has now been nixed from the map voting screen to discourage players from dropping out. And rank matches will cancel if players manage to skedaddle during map voting. And of course, capture the flag mode is now available in ranked play now uh before we move on to factions uh they uh there hasn't been any update on bomb mode in terms of when that's getting released as well as for ranked because i know a lot of you guys that play ranked uh are very much looking forward to that uh big time so uh there hasn't really been any update on that just yet in terms of when we're gonna get it it's obviously something that's still coming but i just thought i'd mention it here because it is important to you guys as well so all right moving on to factions echelon's intel suit now only reveals enemies through walls for the player wearing it Allies will still eat, see enemy locations on the minimap, though. So a lot of you guys were asking for that sort of a, a nerf ever since we started talking about the Echelon suit on here. So it looks like your wishes specifically have been fulfilled now. Uh, next up, dead sex spider bots were shocking target players before leaping onto their faces, which wasn't winning them fans. Now they can zap targets in the face, uh, it, targets at the face hugging stage of the relationship. OK, so the spider bots got a bit of a nerf. So, uh, all right. So in other words, they're working more as intended, so to speak. All right. Next up, they're going to be talking about weapons. Um, now, I'm not going to get in the entire into the entire thing, I although I will mention this part right here. The rapid fire barrel and muzzle booster attachments were causing less recoil in some weapons, such as the ACR and the AK-47, when they were supposed to cause more recoil. That's fixed. They nerfed the MP7 a little bit. They reduced the MP7's magazine capacity from, thir from 35 to 30 and its rate of fire from 875 to 850 rounds per minute. Updated the old iron sights that were appearing in certain LVOAC cosmetic skins. And now this part right here that I'm not going to get too in depth of, of is uh, about the shotguns. And long story short, every single shotgun has gotten a buff. So for those of you guys that love shotguns, especially on some of the smaller maps or some of the more CQC maps like Echelon or Arena or like, let's say, um, oh, what's that other one? Uh, Clubhouse towards the inner part of the building as opposed to the yard or whatnot. I think you're going to see a lot more shotgun users, that's for sure. I'm, I'm expecting the Echelon map specifically to like be full of shotgun users at this point right now. So all the shotguns have been buffed. Uh, also, I wanted to mention in that aspect that the pistol grip and the PEQ-15 laser attachments for shotguns also had their spread minimum, uh, minimum maximum uh, max bonus reduced from 20 to 15 percent. Finally, all shotgun reticle blooms uh, visualized by the vertical and horizontal hash marks in the HUD, HUD reticle are now enlarged slice uh, enlarged slightly while leaping. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about devices. Sticky grenades now stay put rather than disappearing if the deploying player kicks the bucket. And then, of course, ending with miscellaneous, the cursor no longer shifts to the main display when playing on a second monitor in full screen mode with the lock mouse into game window option turned on and then last but not least fixed an issue preventing players kill death ratio from updating properly after completing matches um i'm glad to see that that got fixed because that was a little bit annoying uh, a little bit of annoying so uh that's actually pretty good uh but now obviously the big things to take away from this is that the spider bot is working a little bit more properly and not you know not crazy shocking you before it gets to you which is good and less annoying than it already is now and of course the echelon suit your biggest your biggest request as far as the echelon suit at this point 
is uh, is pretty much been fulfilled at this point to where it's only working for the player using it as far as the, the wall hacking ability goes. But uh, but in terms of other players being able to see other people on the minimap, that is something as well. Unless, of course, you're wearing the Echelon suit yourself to where you probably won't show up. Uh, I believe that is the only counter to that, unless I'm mistaken, which I could very well well, well be, but uh, I'm not exclusive ace, <laughs> so I, I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, with that being said, I'm going to end it here. Uh, this was a shorter but sweeter, you know, quick video for you guys, so you guys are at least informed in terms of the changes that have been made. And of course, at the very end, I just hope and pray that this update, this patch or whatnot, uh, does not... Um, what's it called, does not screw up anything else of significance in the game. Because as we know, this game has been a little bit infamous for kind of doing that. For every time we get an update or a patch or whatnot, it's like something else ends up getting, you know, m like bugged or something like that. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, guys, with that being said, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to watch and or listen. And of course, you can let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this update. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.